Pajama Day. Andrew's old pajamas were full of holes, so his father took him to get new ones. They went to a store and Andrew said, Yuck, these pajamas do not feel right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck, these pajamas do not smell right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck, these pajamas do not taste right. I'll wear my old ones. His father took him to one more store. Way in the back was a rack that said, Perfect pyjamas. Andrew looked at the pyjamas and said, All right, they look okay. He smelled the pyjamas and said, All right, they smell okay. He tasted the pyjamas and said, All right, they taste okay. So his father bought the pyjamas. The next day was pyjama day at school. Andrew put one foot into his new pyjamas and yawned once. He put the other foot in and yawned twice. He put one arm in and his eyes closed. He put the other arm in and fell fast asleep. This was very strange because it was only nine o'clock. Andrew's teacher put him in the back of the room and said, you'll wake up in a bit. Andrew slept until recess and his teacher started to get worried. He slept until lunch and the principal started to get worried. He slept all afternoon and even the kids started to get worried. At the end of the day, the teacher called for a doctor. The doctor bonked Andrew on the knee, looked in his ears and looked in his eyes. She said that he was fine, but Andrew was still asleep. Then Andrew's big sister came to walk him home from school. She said, I'm going to call mum. Andrew's mother took one look and said, I see what's wrong. He's wearing perfect pyjamas. She took Andrew's arm out of the pyjamas and he yawned. She took his other arm out of the pyjamas and he opened one eye just for a second. She took one foot and he opened both his eyes. She took out the other foot and Andrew jumped up and said, Is it recess yet? The principal came in and said, What's going on here? Look, said Andrew's mother. It was perfect pyjamas that made Andrew sleep. These are perfect pyjamas. That's crazy, said the principal. I say there's no such thing as perfect pyjamas and I am a principal so I know everything twice. But just to be sure, the principal decided to try them out. The principal looked at the pyjamas and they looked okay. He smelled the pyjamas and they smelled okay. He tasted the pyjamas and they tasted okay. He put one foot in the pyjamas and he yawned. He put the other foot in the pyjamas and he yawned again. He put his arms in the pyjamas and he fell fast asleep. Andrew's mother carried the principal back to his office and then she took Andrew home. Then Andrew's mum made him some real perfect pyjamas. They kept Andrew as warm as toast, even on very cold nights. And they were really perfect because they only made Andrew go to sleep when he wanted to go to sleep. And the principal? He is still sleeping.